So let's talk a little bit about uh, your company and a little bit about Zipren. I think it's really interesting uh, how uh, you're uh, able to try to help as many landlords fill those vacancies. Absolutely. Uh, you know, the, the idea of Zipren came um, when I was a landlord and I had um, empty units that I needed to fill across different geographic areas and um, I saw a need for a system that could, a system processes and, and a service really that, that could uh, help landlords place tenants more efficiently. Um, on the flip side, it helps uh, the renters get into the units faster, right? We were placing um, uh, tenants at, at, at a much faster rate than competition um, by, by making everything more efficient processing applications, putting them from the owner, answering owner's questions, generating leases for the owner, um, and then you know getting the tenant inside the unit. And talk a little bit about uh, really uh, the demand, uh, not only here in Arizona, but really across the country, uh, showing more people uh, continuing to rent in those complexes uh, keep uh, jumping up. Absolutely. Uh, so right now we're in uh, 14 different states, Arizona being uh, one of them. Um, so we have a good grasp of kind of what's happening uh, nationally. Um, and what I would say is, uh, you know, as interest rates have been spiking up, you're finding more and more landlords in a position um, of wanting to continue to rent, right? Uh, the market is just not really ready for them to sell. And uh, that's where we come in. Uh, and we've been pretty successful at being able to uh, regardless of the times, even during COVID, uh, getting those tenants turned over, uh, getting those units turned over, getting uh, the tenants into the units so they can see the property, be comfortable with it, and then move forward with uh, leasing it. And so right now, that's it's probably, um, you know, we're having the least number of landlords moving on and trying to sell their units uh, as those units end up emptying up. Uh, and I, I think that's directly as a result of the uh, interest rates. And talk a little bit, we've heard so much on the side really of uh, consumers and uh, people that are renting, but uh, give us the perspective of the landlord, because I, I don't think it's talked about too much of just really just how much paperwork goes into even just renting out one property. Can you maybe just give us some insight on that and then how zip rent is, is able to kind of fill that void? Absolutely. I, you know, the, going back to kind of why we started ZipRent, uh, even myself as a landlord, uh, I had a lot of real estate experience. But when it came to placing tenants and finding, uh, you know, getting that lease and the tenant inside the unit, I was always uh, using a broker who was doing this on a regular basis because of the amount of work and uh, paperwork and, and the experience that's required in that field. Uh, and, you know, obviously that was five, six years ago. Now we've placed over 5,000 tenants uh, to date. And to, to just start off with uh, processing applications, right? If you're not doing them on a daily basis, you're not really sure what to look for uh, in, a, in a tenant's profile so that you don't get in trouble later on uh, with, you know, who you place inside your tenant. Uh, so, you know, given that we process over a thousand applications on a, on a monthly basis, our system is very good at identifying who is the right tenant for your property. Uh, and then moving on to the next stage, which is drafting the lease. Uh, like, like I said, you know, we're signing so many leases uh, every month we're reiterating the lease based off the experience that we had the previous months. Uh, so the lease that you're getting from us is as a result of thousands of tenants and owners signing that lease. Uh, and our leases become very custom in different areas, right? Because we are, we are covering a large geographic area. If there's a specific law in Scottsdale or Phoenix that uh, a landlord needs to adhere to, that's going to end up in our lease. Uh, as a you know, one first time landlord, you might not know exactly what to put in your lease, specifically what Scottsdale wants or what the county wants or what the state wants. Uh, we cover all those bases for the landlords. Um, and then, you know, just the ease of doing it, um, you know, in this day and age, uh, 
you know, still COVID lingers, lingers on a little bit. A lot of people are less comfortable with being face to face. Uh, we handle all that, right? We, we use DocuSign, we use online uh, applications to make sure that tenants and owners can really get things done efficiently and do it from home uh, when they can. Obviously, when they're viewing the property, they're going to be on site, but we'll handle showing the property as well for the owner. So they don't really need to be involved at all besides saying, yes, I want to go ahead with this tenant. Let's make it happen. And tell us a little bit about, I could just imagine how AI is really changing the game uh, for, for so much. If you could give us a little insight on that as well and how it is uh, just being implemented on a daily basis. Absolutely. And, and, you know, the AI comes in handy when you got volume, right? And so as we've been growing and we've been handling uh, a lot larger number of applications, tenants, owners, properties, um, you find that, uh, you know, we need to iterate our software to make sure that it's making a lot of decisions automatically. How does that help both sides? Immensely, because, uh, for example, just using applications as, as an example, uh, you know, a tenant fills out an application and generally in our field, a uh, property manager or an owner might take a day, two days, three days to process that application, get the background checks done, or get the credit checks done. Um, we process it in roughly 10 minutes and our software uh, goes out there and tries to, you know, using the, the information that tenant provided, uh, get the exact dollar amount that the, the tenant makes on a monthly basis, uh, calculates that along with their uh, credit checks and background checks and pro pro provides a zip score uh, to the owner so that they can make a decision within 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, and that, what does that do for the owner? Well, obviously, uh, you know, their unit becomes more competitive in the market because you're able to respond to tenants faster. Likewise for a tenant, right? They're looking for a place, they're, they're antsy, they, they want to know if they get the place and they can uh, plan on moving in uh, and we can get that decision back to them much faster. So that's just one example, right? But showings, you know, we, we show using um, smart lock boxes so that a tenant can see the property right this minute. If they see a property on our website, you can go in and see it right this minute. But that can also introduce fraud. How do we combat fraud? when you're showing uh, properties on demand, well, that has to be AI, right? That has to be computers making a decision of, is this person really trying to see this property or is it a fraudulent person trying to get into the unit that they don't really intend on renting? It's so fascinating because of course we live in this world right now where it uh, people want things super fast. They want that immediacy. Look at, uh, we live in this uh, social media age where and you Google and you want those things right there. And uh, to get that perspective of, uh, for not only for a potential um, person that wants to be a tenant, but also giving that satisfaction and also maybe that ease to that landlord, uh, it goes a long way. Uh, absolutely. And, and really, when it comes to something as important as housing for the tenants um, and the, the investment that the landlord, you know, we work with mostly mom and pop uh, landlords, the investment that the, the landlord has put into their property, uh, every second counts, right? The, the tenant really needs to find a place to live in. And, and we, we, we absolutely understand and, and work with that. And then at the same time, uh, the landlord, the landlord wants to protect their investment. Uh, so using as much software as necessary to make sure that both sides get what they want. At the same time, having the staffing on our side to make sure that we are checking everything, that we are providing the highest level of service. So the whole point of software is to provide the highest level of service, but not a poor level of service. Um, so highest, fastest level of service. And that's that's what our goal is. And that's what we've been able to achieve here at Zipra. Yeah, it's uh, truly fascinating. Arvan, thank you so much for joining us on Live Now from Fox, giving us uh, some insight into your company as well as the overall uh, market. We appreciate it. Thanks so much, Mike. Thanks, Ryan.